Hey friends, today I am taking you along with me and showing you some thrifted finds that I made over. I'm going to show you what they looked like when I thrifted them and then how I gave each of them a little update or makeover to kind of make them fit in better with my style and my home. So I'm just so excited to take you guys along today. It's gonna be a fun little craft time with you guys. And hopefully this video will inspire you and show you to look beyond what you see at the thrift store and think about potential for these different items and how you could recreate something to fit so much more perfectly within your home. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to go ahead and do today is just thrift together. So this is one of the local thrift shops that I visit quite often. They have this section in the front with items that they consider to be antiques or vintage. So they're a little bit pricier, but I still like to look through this section because I feel like it's still more affordable than most antique shops. I was quite intrigued by this item because I love handmade pottery, but I couldn't quite figure out what it is. Is it just a creamer? It was interesting to me that it had the lid on it. So if you know what this is, I would love for you to comment below. I almost purchased it. I was so excited to see this pretty blue color, but then I turned it around. <laughs> so I decided to leave this at the thrift shop. More handmade pottery always catching my eye. And of course, I always love to look at copper whenever I see it at the thrift store. This piece I actually already have though. It's hanging up in my kitchen, so I don't need another one. I decided to leave it there for the next person. I think this is a bed warmer. Correct me if I'm wrong. I have a couple of these in my bedroom, but I'm thinking that's what this is. Um, I don't know how old it is. I like the brass finish, but I didn't need another one. I already have a few actually. And then I always like to look at the artwork and look what I found. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this beautiful print. I think it's a print. I couldn't tell with the glass on there. I'm pretty sure it's just a print. But I thought it was so pretty. For my sister, we are always like thrifting for each other. It was only $8 and it's huge. So I grabbed that and she was so excited when I gave it to her. Now this caught my eye as well. This is one of the items that I'll be making over today. Um, the flowers are a little bit cheesy, but I think the container has potential. So I'm gonna show you what I do with it later on in the video. Of course, you guys, I don't know if you remember, I just saw one of these for $25, a mortar and pestle at another thrift shop. They were asking so much for it. And then I saw this one for just a couple of bucks. I'm going to make that over as well. You guys know I love white heritage false graph. I, I think I already have this piece though. I'm almost positive. And these glasses, oh my goodness. I've been looking and searching high and low for a set like this because they remind me of the ones my grandma had. And I always just find one or two. I can't seem to find a set. So here we are back at home. Now some of these items I purchased um, before that particular thrifting trip, but I am going to give some of these pieces a makeover and I'm so excited to get started. So let's go ahead and start with this mortar and pestle. I think that's how you say it, mortar and pestle. Um, anyways, there's a little bit of paint on it here, so I think that can easily be sanded. And I just want to give it a little bit more character, make it look older. So the first thing I did was just take it outside, use a little bit of elbow grease, some sandpaper, and I just got the paint off very easily. Then I took it inside and I went ahead and kind of used like a watered down technique with paint to give it just a light wash of gray just to soften those yellow tones and that way it would be a great base for the next step here which is Annie Sloan Antique Dark Wax. It is my favorite wax ever. I've used it a million times. It gives everything the most beautiful patina and age. And I'm just using a paper towel, that's it. And just rubbing it in a little bit goes a long way. And oh my goodness, you guys, this turned out so beautiful. Look at it in my kitchen. 
I think that it just blends beautifully with a lot of the wood tones I have in there and I think it has more character now and just for a couple of bucks and a little bit of elbow grease I feel like I gave it a new life and it looks so pretty here in my kitchen so that's the first DIY today Hey friends, I hope you're enjoying all of these little DIY projects that I've been doing with you. Honestly, it's a lot of fun for me. Creativity is so therapeutic for me and it's just really good for my mental health, which actually leads me into today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I have never personally gone through therapy. Honestly, I think that's just because I have been so blessed with an amazing family. I have wonderful parents and a great support system. My siblings are my best friends. But the older I get, the more I realize that not everyone has that type of support system. Even just here on YouTube in this community, I read so many comments that really break my heart. People that are alone or experiencing loss or just going through a really difficult time and they literally have no one to talk to. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you unbiased, helpful advice. First, you just need to go to their site and use the link in my description below. I'll put it on the screen here as well. You simply need to answer a few questions and then BetterHelp will connect you with a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles just like yours. I really love this about BetterHelp. You guys know that my faith is very important to me and it's a huge part of my life. And as I was going through their site and answering these questions, I just love the fact that I could choose whether or not I wanted a Christian therapist and one that would offer me biblical wisdom and advice. I just think it's so neat that BetterHelp makes that option available to you if that's something you're looking for. You can do all of this from your phone or computer via a phone call, messaging, video chat, however you feel most comfortable. BetterHelp is literally the easiest way possible to start talking to a therapist. So after answering a few questions on their site, BetterHelp will usually match you with a therapist within 48 hours so you can get started very quickly. So if you are struggling with something or maybe you just want someone to talk to, let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com using my special link. I'll put it here on the screen and include it below or use Pine and Prospect Home during your sign up. That way you can enjoy a special discount your very first month of using BetterHelp. I myself have signed up recently to give BetterHelp a try and I am so looking forward to speaking with a Christian therapist, someone who I can trust, someone who I can talk to and gain biblical wisdom from. So I hope you guys will give it a try as well. Again, make sure you check out the link in my description below or use Pine and Prospect Home when you sign up so that you can receive my special discount. All right, so moving on to the next item, and I know I'm going to get a lot of mean messages for this. This is some artwork that I purchased in Germany, and I've always loved it, but I wanted to slightly age it a little bit with some of that wax. And so maybe that's like a huge no-no, and I'm sure people are going to tell me I, I shouldn't have done that. But I just, every time I hung it up, I felt like it wasn't quite right in my home. I wanted it to be a little bit darker. A little bit more moody and I just added a little bit in the corners and I feel like it did just the trick so I really love it now I'm trying it in a couple of different places there's an existing nail on the wall in that corner which is why it's not centered so I'm thinking about putting it there with the other prints I have or here in the entryway so I'll give you a look at both both spots one more time so you can see where do you guys like it more I feel like it looks pretty in both spots I love this kind of little collage of artwork here in the corner again I would center it on the wall or I could put it here on my entryway I think it turned out so beautiful so keep that in mind as you're looking at artwork at the thrift store now let's take a look at this fun little faux flower situation in this basket it was a little pricey almost three dollars i almost put it back but i'm just gonna take a steak knife here <laughs> 
and go to town. The flower portion pulled right out. The styrofoam portion was a little bit more tricky. I really had to work at it a bit. And it started to make such a big mess that I decided to go work over the fire pit instead. Then I made the mistake of blowing into the vessel to get the pieces of styrofoam out and they ended up all over my face. So don't make the same mistake <laughs> that I did. It took forever to get all of these pieces out of my eyelashes and they were in my hair, they were stuck to my lips. So that was gross, but you know, <laughs> It's an adventure. I have these stems that were like 99 cents at Goodwill and I wanted to try these first because I love the way the green pops in this little blue container. They just weren't quite right. They didn't fill it the way that I was wanting it to be filled. So I went with plan B. I have this like faux Queen Anne's lace that I've hung on to that we used in my wedding for all the bouquets it's so pretty i got it at a garage sale actually and a lady sold me a huge box of it we use it everywhere in my wedding and i still use it today but i decided to fill this little container with that baby's breath instead i guess that's what it is um but look how cute it turned out it's so pretty it adds this really lovely pop of blue in my kitchen kind of ties into our blue stove if you're new here, I have a whole YouTube video about our blue stove and how that came to be. But I just feel like it's a really pretty, fun, like spring touch in our kitchen, and I think it turned out cute. So, all right, let's move on to this this next piece. This was three dollars for this little rose, again faux floral potted rose. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I think it's really cute, but the container itself was a little bit too orange. I know it's supposed to be, but I just wanted it to feel more aged like this antique planter that I have. I, I think that I could do that easily with some paint, so we're going to give it a try here. I just took some gray chalk paint just like before and kind of just watered it down a little bit, just dipping it into a little bowl of water so that the paint kind of spreads more easily and settles into all the cracks and crevices. Then I did the same thing with a lighter gray, just in random areas, added some of that. And then again, using the water to kind of spread it around. Then I went ahead and took a paper towel and followed it up with my handy dandy Dark Wax by Annie Sloan. I used this stuff for everything I'm telling you and it gave it this wonderful sort of aged look and I feel like it looks so much more similar to the other antique planter that I have. So let me put together a little springtime vignette for you guys to show you how this turned out. So I just grabbed these little like biodegradable seed starter pots at the dollar store. I got a whole 10 pack for a dollar, I think is what I paid. And so you could just stack those up with a couple of these terracotta planters and you have a beautiful spring vignette. I thought maybe a sun hat or straw hat or garden tool would be so pretty here as well. And look how Look how well it matches the other planter just with a little bit of chalk paint, some dark wax. I think it turned out so beautiful. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the thing. The more imperfect, the better. You're really trying to just make it look like it has been outside for a long time and it's aged beautifully. And anyways, I think it really came together well. So let me know what you guys think for $3. I think it was worth it. Now, this next little, I think I want to say these are supposed to be lilac stems. This was a garage sale find. I paid a couple of dollars for this and it's really pretty. The stems look very lifelike, but the pot itself was a little too yellow for me and I just want to make it look older. So here I am. By now, I think you guys kind of get the technique that I use. I'm just painting the pot itself with some chalk paint. Now, I'm not watering it down this time, but I am just doing one sort of light, thin coat. Nothing super heavy. I'm just using an artist brush here. I use these little artist brushes for so many projects. And honestly, I think it's looking pretty good just with the gray paint. 
with that little bit of yellow coming through it adds some warmth some dimension but you know I have to take it to the next level here <laughs> and make it look a little bit older and more antique so I'm just going to gently wipe it with that dark wax and when I do that the little ridges in the pot itself it picks up that wax and just gives it this beautiful dimension and just more character and kind of ages it a bit and you can see how beautiful it turned out for a cheap garage sale find it makes quite the centerpiece for springtime on our table super simple didn't have to put this together all i had to do was just a quick coat of chalk paint and a little bit of antique wax and i love it i think it looks really pretty let me know what you guys think all right let's move on to these gold frames now these are plastic but i feel like the gold is looking pretty good i was thinking about messing with them a little bit maybe adding a little bit of black paint to age them a bit but i think i i think they look pretty good uh just left alone so what i'm doing now is just going through some prints that i have these are all paintings that are for sale on my blog i painted them and Back when I had an antique booth, I actually would sell prints of my paintings for people. And so I don't have that booth anymore. So I happen to have all these prints and I don't feel bad about cutting them because I'm not cutting the originals or anything. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take the back off of one of these frames. And unfortunately I was hoping that I would have like a mat to work with, but I didn't so I'm gonna have to get a little bit creative here I'm just gonna take the sticker off and then give the glass a good cleaning with my favorite ever enviro cloth and water no need for Windex or vinegar or anything all you need are these amazing cloths and I'm thinking that I'm going to go horizontal with this instead of vertical so all I'm doing is just cutting the print to size and I chose to forego the glass because I feel like glass sometimes gives such a strong glare. Now I put it in my bathroom and I'm kind of thinking it might be wise to have glass in a bathroom when people are spraying hairspray and all the things uh, that might protect it. Not that it's anything special, it's just a print of something I painted myself, but... <laughs> Um, maybe I will go ahead and put the glass back in it. I think it turned out really cute though. So take a look at those frames at the thrift store. You can get so creative with them. And there's so much artwork online that you can print. But guys, I had so much fun crafting and DIYing with you today. Let me know what you think about all of these makeovers. Where should I put that painting from Germany? What do you think about my little technique with chalk paint and dark wax? I really feel like you could use it in so many different applications. Wood, terracotta, plastic, really there's no limit. So I hope that this video inspired you today. I hope it encourages you to get out there thrifting and to look beyond what you see at the thrift store. Remember, there is always potential you can always make changes with a little bit of paint and elbow grease so i had so much fun with you guys today thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time Bye bye